Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another Walking Dead video. So I wanted to talk about the Daryl Dixon show. This show is obviously premiering in, what, 26 days now? Or I guess 23 days if you're watching it on AMC+. And they are releasing these little teasers here and there, and there's actually two of them that were focused on Isabel and Laurent, and I wanted to actually talk about those two characters because we actually got some new footage in there, a lot of new dialogue, and we actually learned a lot about uh, this new group that's here, this, this new group called the Union of Hope. And the actress who plays Isabel actually describes the group in an interesting way that actually sort of gives me an overall understanding of what is actually happening here in France and I guess sort of the threat that they are facing and it seems like they're going to be facing anyway. So before we go any further, obviously make sure to be a subscriber if you want to get all my walk into content like this and if you haven't subscribed to the podcast yet, definitely go do so. The link will be in the description. But let's talk about this here. So Isabel, obviously we've known for a while, is going to be one of the main characters here in, in this show. Um, she is a nun and uh, she is a part of this group, this new group here that is called the Union of Hope. They sort of believe in the idea that if you can bring a bunch of people just sort of from everywhere, people of different faiths, just everywhere really, and you bring them together, then maybe our goal should be to try and create this new faith of we will revive humanity kind of thing, right? And so this group is kind of just doing its own thing right now. And it's there's no specific belief of anything. There's no specific faith of any kind. I mean, there's a shot there with uh, with Daryl and Isabel and Daryl looks up at the wall and I think he's seeing a bunch of different like religious things and he makes some sort of joke and it's just a reference to the fact that a lot of people here come from a lot of different backgrounds. There's a lot of different religions here, but they're, they're all sort of united under this new faith of we will revive humanity. And so I actually really do like that because, you know, it's it's so like it's something that is obviously it's more religious based in the sense that we are going to do this from like more of a religious perspective. Right. And there will be other things, obviously, with it. But it's interesting because there's been no group really that has had that as a, as a specific goal. Right. Like I'm thinking on The Walking Dead, there was really no group, even Rick's group the entire time. No, like they weren't trying to like revive humanity. They were just trying to survive. So like it's kind of cool that Daryl's going to be a part of this group that has this different mission. And it's just, it's, it's interesting, like, to actually see some of the new footage here, to see that Daryl is actually trying to, you know, help, help them out. And actually, at first, he's kind of just like, no, I don't want anything to do with this, because I think he's a little shocked by a lot of it. And it looks like this happens after they sort of take care of him and they, they help him and, and whatnot. Isabel, I believe, says something like, well, you're, you're the messenger, you're going to deliver Laurent. And Daryl's just kind of like, wait, what? No, I'm not doing that. And he's trying to like, walk away and leave. And I, it's kind of funny, you know, I've watched a couple of clips here, especially the Isabel and the Laurent one, and there is like like this sort of comedic feel to it a little bit. Like I'm not saying it's a, it's a comedy, and I, I don't even want to use that word because people might take that in the wrong way. I just more mean like there is a little bit of humor there, right? Like Daryl's just kind of like, nah, I don't want to be a part of that. <laughs> like, no, I'm, I'm going to go. So he's going to try and leave, obviously. And so in that sense, that scene is just a little humorous. And then there's also another one where Daryl is just sort of learning from Laurent just about his life and just sort of what he, what, you know, his background i guess and the stuff that he's good at and he's just kind of like you know he he's he's smiling a little bit because he's like i can't believe like this kid is just so smart in all of this he knows how to do all this stuff here in a world like this it's kind of rare to come across right like it's it's kind of interesting to see and the footage is really cool to see you can tell this is from episode one like i really do think that first episode is going to really introduce isabel laurent it's going to introduce daryl to this new place we're going to learn all about the union of hope and we're going to learn more about their their missions I don't think we're going to see too much of the bad guys. Honestly, it could end in a very similar way to episode one of Dead City, where the ending of uh, Daryl Dixon's premiere is sort of reveals the villain. And we see some sort of scene, much like we saw with the Croat, obviously, at the end, where he like cut the zip line or whatever. We might get something like that at the very end, which teases the villain. And then episode two, we'll just kind of go from there, right? I can kind of see them going in that type of direction. I mean, this first episode, I feel like, uh, it's going to be like they have to set up quite a bit of stuff and it's going to be interesting to see how much they do set up. I'm just trying to think of it, you know, plot wise, because it's six episodes. The sixth episode, you're probably going to end everyone's story kind of thing. The fifth episode, you're going to be very much on your journey of bringing Laurent somewhere. There might even be a final battle type situation if you're going to do that, you know, obviously in the fifth episode. Maybe that's like the bigger episode of the two, right, of episode five and six. And then you're going to have at least two episodes of traveling and, and sort of, I mean, there's going to be a lot of drama. You're going from this place to this place, meeting new people, this and that. Like Daryl, I feel like at the end of episode one is going to really be in a place where he's like, okay, I guess we're going to start traveling. I don't think he's going to yet, though. I feel like in episode two, 
that's where he's going to be like, all right, I guess we can leave. But I think early on in episode two, he might actually leave and start traveling to whatever location he has to go to. And I, I can't wait to watch episode one because I want to know specifically where he's going. We don't know that yet. We just know there's a destination and they want Daryl to bring Laurent there. There are some specifics about it that I'm really curious about. People think it is the cure, that they might believe he's the cure. And it really feels like that. But obviously we've had really, I mean, I don't want to say we've had no confirmation. There's actually been quite a bit of confirmation. There's actually been a a lot out there that that's sort of what they believe. So we're just going to have to wait and see. You know, this first episode will show us a lot of that. And that's also something I wanted to mention as well. You know, this group and the way Isabel describes the group, which is called Union of Hope. It's it's sort of, it's one of those things where they're more, you know, I guess against what the main, I guess, community is doing, right? And it kind of feels like this is very much one of those CRM type of things because the Civic Republic isn't necessarily evil, right? Like the Civic Republic is a place where it's, I mean, it's, it's debatable. There could be some evil aspects to it, but it's not necessarily entirely evil. It's the CRM. It's the military of the Civic Republic that is a lot more evil and is doing a lot of crazy stuff, right? And that's the stuff that Rick is going to be dealing with, right? So that's one of those things where I think on the Daryl show, the the actual like group here at this convent w- with the nuns and stuff, I think they're just sort of against what the main military or whatever is doing in that sense. They're kind of breaking away from it a little bit. They're fighting back and it looks like they want to revive humanity. And, and you gotta wonder, like if they're if they're fighting back against their the main community's beliefs, why are they doing that, right? And why do they want to find a cure? I mean, maybe they actually do believe that this this place here, whatever this bigger community is called that they're a part of, they're actually doing something to harm people and stuff. And, you know, I, I do remember them referencing like this very evil leader and stuff like that early on when they, I think they were filming Daryl Dixon. And there was some stuff with that, that that kind of went around. So I, I really wonder if that is actually what the story is. Obviously, we will find out very soon. But yeah, overall, though, these shots are really amazing of Daryl. It's it's honestly, it's it's really cool to actually just get new footage here. I really can't wait to see more stuff. And Laurent as well, we do learn that he's been living with nuns his entire life. Like, he's actually been basically here at this place. I, I believe they, they call this place the convent. So he's been here learning stuff his entire life. He's talking about, like, math and science and geography and social studies, I, I guess, and a bunch of stuff like that. So I guess he just kind of, he's been sheltered, I think, away from everything for, for the most part. and. You got to wonder if he is actually the cure, if there is something there. I don't know what the storyline is going to be, but it's something that, I mean, it seems like it, right? Like that trailer really hinted at it, basically practically confirmed, I think, that he is the cure. So it's interesting, you know, and Daryl learning about all that. It was just kind of a really cool scene. I do think he and Daryl are going to have a pretty close relationship. I think that it it could be more of a father-son relationship. We'll have to wait and see, obviously, but there's just a lot of shots in the the general trailer, the Comic-Con trailer that sort of hinted at that, that there's going to be more of a father-son type of relationship here. And it would be kind of cool if they actually went and did something like that. You know, I I think that the show wants to have some of these characters become very, very close to Daryl. Like, I think Isabel will be very close to Daryl. I think a lot of these characters, by the time this show is over, we're going to want them to come over to America and be a part of, like, Alexandria and the Hilltop and, I guess, I guess the Commonwealth and stuff, right? Like, we're going to want... I guess I should correct myself there. The Hilltop doesn't exist anymore. It's called the Bricks now, but you get what I mean, right? Like, we're, we're going to want these characters, likely, by the end of the series, to actually be here, and it would be really cool. Honestly, it would be super cool to actually have everybody from the Daryl Dixon show come back here. Um, the crazy thing about this show, though, is that a lot of these characters we, we might get very attached to, and they might just die at the end of the first season. Isabel might die at the end of the first season. Laurent might die by the end of the first season, right? So uh, we'll have to wait and see. But it's, uh, yeah, I mean, these shots are just really incredible. I'm, I'm definitely very excited for this show. I can't wait. The show is coming out super soon. Um, but yeah, any new news or anything like that, I definitely will be breaking out all of it down. Definitely make sure to be a subscriber if you want to get all my walk content like this. And you guys seem to really like my best Rick Grimes moments video yesterday. So I might do some more, you know, just on some of the other main characters and whatnot. Because I think that could be kind of cool because it was really fun to do. Like, I, I know that there was moments that I missed. That's, that's the thing, doing a top 10 moment thing like that, like, it's so hard because I'm trying to, there's so many moments where I'm like, should I rearrange it like this or should I have this moment happen here? It was just kind of hard to put everything together because I was like, well, this moment was more cool, but, like, did it really even matter or mean anything overall? Not really, not necessarily. So do I include it? Uh, I don't know. Is it a top 10 moment? It, it would definitely be in a top 15 moment, but I kind of have to leave it out. So 
it was kind of hard to leave a lot of stuff out, but I, I believe overall the top 10 that I picked were kind of the top 10 that I would, it just feels right, I would say. I, I do think it overall feels right. But anyways, I'm gonna leave it here. Post all your thoughts down below. Hope you guys all enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.